Hello everyone, welcome back to Electrified Outdoors. Today we're taking a look at the software update that Rivian just recently released. And this is kind of a major overhaul to the UI. It has all this 3D cell shading technology and all that fun stuff. But what I'm really interested in today is the improvements that they've made to the suspension system. Now I've got another video coming out that is talking about the climate control and what they did there. They made some UI changes to the climate control and they also gave you two presets for each zone, which I think is really nice. But like I said, today I'm mainly focusing on the suspension improvements. Now here you can see in my drive mode screen, I've got this totally new graphic over here of my R1T and my ride feel is set to soft, regen is set to high, ride height is set to standard. Now I typically drive around in all purpose with the moderate ride feel and the standard ride height. I don't do any automatic suspension adjustment or anything like that. And so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna drive around the same roads that I always drive around here near my home and I'm gonna see if I feel any real differences in how the truck rides because I think a lot of Gen 1 owners wanna know how much different the ride feel is. Now with all that said, folks, you're gonna find out right along with me what my impressions are. Now, I've driven a lot of different R1 vehicles, so my wife and I have both the R1T and the R1S, and I've driven a number of other R1S and R1T vehicles. So I have a really good idea how these vehicles perform, the kind of noises and things that are normal versus abnormal in these vehicles. And so kind of give you a little perspective of where I'm coming from with this. And I can already feel in the moderate ride setting with standard ride height, high regen, I feel the truck is a little more composed. It feels a little tighter the steering feels a little tighter. But it doesn't feel harsh and it doesn't feel like I'm floating either, which I think is important. Now, one of the big complaints folks had about the soft ride feel on the previous versions of the software is that it was very floaty, the vehicle bounced around a lot and there was a lot of body roll. And I will say that was actually true. Now, in certain scenarios, that was fine. Now, you don't necessarily want all that when you're driving around twisty surface roads like we are right now because it doesn't necessarily inspire confidence when you go into turns. Now, I think it's great when you're on the highway and you're not really doing a whole lot of turning So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it into the soft ride feel. And unlike previous versions of the software, folks, I can instantaneously feel a difference. In the previous versions, I really didn't feel much of a difference when I made that change. I can feel a difference in the steering response and the way the vehicle's handling. I definitely am not feeling as much bounciness from the soft mode. The soft mode seems to affect the steering more and I don't feel a whole lot of bounciness. The previous versions of the software with the soft mode, it felt like you were uh, in a boat on the water, but I'm not feeling that now. This actually might be my new selection for the most of the time that I'm driving the truck. It feels really good. There is a little more floatiness, but it's not excessive like it was before.
Yeah, this actually feels pretty good. Not sure how much you guys can pick up on the camera, but I'm not getting a whole lot of bounciness. The vehicle is much more composed after it goes over a hill, a little bump in the road. It bounces once and then it maintains its composure where before it would bounce several times. Yeah, I definitely feel like I could use soft all the time now. The steering response feels better. The vehicle feels more composed. So let's go ahead and try out the firm setting. And again, when I make that change, I can feel an instant response in the vehicle. The steering is definitely tightened up. Now I'm sure in the firm setting, it's gonna be harsher over bumps. But I definitely feel a tighter steering. I don't know how Rivian does this, but it's kind of magic what they can do with the ride feel. I definitely feel more responsiveness in the steering when I'm going around these windy roads. But there's a couple imperfections there and it's not bone jarring by any means. You know, it feels like the accelerator is more responsive as well. Rivian has really done some amazing work this time. So I'm gonna switch myself back into the soft setting. And again, I can feel that instant response. And when I say instant response, I mean, I can feel a difference in the amount of feedback coming through the steering wheel. So when it's in the firm mode, I, it's like I can feel more coming through the steering wheel. I can feel more connected to the road. But when I put it back in soft, I feel like I'm getting a little more isolated from the road. It definitely feels a little softer but it doesn't feel as bouncy and floaty as it did before. One of the other things of note, folks, is that Rivian put this blind spot camera on the driver's display here, and you're probably not gonna be able to see it, but when I actuate the turn signal, it does bring up the camera. Now, here on Gen 1, you do have kind of a fisheye effect, so, it's not gonna be as good as it is on Gen 2, but it does the job. Now, some people did complain because when you put the right signal on, it shows up on the right side of the screen, and when you put the left signal on, it shows up on the left side of the screen, that it's blocked by the steering wheel. So I think what Rivian could possibly do is move that more to the center of the screen, maybe left center, right center for the different turn signals, I think that might be a better way to do it rather than have it at the far edge. But I guess that's something for a future software update. But anyway, folks, if you're on the fence about this update or if you're just curious about what it's all about, I think the big takeaway from this is the suspension. I mean, it's just, to me, it's a big update. 
Rivian has really done a lot to tune the suspension in this one. I'll be releasing some other videos on some of the other features, and I'll probably put an overlay on this one of the blind spot camera. But stay tuned for my video on the climate control. We waited a long time for this update, and I think it was well worth the wait. What do you guys think? Let us know down in the comments section. As always, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, and thank you guys so much for watching.